Hi, my name is Murray and follow me for a week in the life of a first year graduate apprentice in software engineering. This was our final week of semester one, so our Monday started with our How to Learn a New Language lecture, where we attempted to go to Game Snake in Java. For lunch, we decided to treat ourselves by going to Cocoa House for pancakes before heading back to the GMS for our afternoon lecture in Foundations of Professional Software Engineering. We had industry experts in from companies such as JP Morgan and Skyscanner to tell us all about DevOps and how it's used in their companies. Tuesday was a chill day we studied for our end of semester test which was happening on the Wednesday before heading to the QMU Computing Hub to revise over lunch. Semester 1's final lecture was in the afternoon and it was all about advanced testing. On Wednesday morning we had our end of semester test and I think it went okay so keep your fingers crossed. Then at lunch we went to check out these food vans which were outside the Wilson Medical Building and managed to score two free vouchers, free loop and scoop churros, don't mind if I do. It managed to take the edge off of the final summative lab in the afternoon which was on mocking and afterwards to celebrate the end of semester one we went for a few drinks on Byers Road with people from our course. For this apprenticeship every second week the apprentices work at their respective companies for the Thursday and Friday and this Thursday was our team's anchor day meaning that everyone would be in the office. I arrived just before 9am and caught up on any emails or messages that I'd missed while being at uni. We had our morning stand up at 9.45 where the developers and our team discuss what they're working on, the progress they're making and if there are any blockers preventing them from continuing their work. I find these short meetings really helpful for me to keep on top of things that my team's been doing while I've been away at uni. After this, I got up on some final notes from the courses and began making the first sort of mock-ups for our assignments, which are due over the next coming months. After lunch, I hopped on a call with another developer from my team to run through some of the back-end development that he does to support the function of some of our applications. We also done a little pair of programming to catch me up to speed with some of the front-end development that I'd previously been working on. At 3 o'clock, the whole office logged off and we went to the kitchen for the annual Christmas party. This leads us to Friday, where I took the opportunity for a long lie and worked from home. I feel that the apprenticeship has given me the perfect balance between learning and the opportunity to apply that learning. I can see the concepts explained at uni being used in a real professional work environment and vice versa. The daily runnings of my team help me to visualise the concepts explored on the course. I've made some great friends on the course and I'm really looking forward to continuing with a tight knit group of people for the duration of the four years. Plus, being paid to do my degree isn't too shabby either. Don't get me wrong, it's a lot of hard work, but I wouldn't have wanted to get my degree in software engineering any other way. Scan the QR code to find out more about the graduate apprenticeship or email compsci-ga-team at glad.ac.uk for more information. Hope to see you in the next apprentice cohort.